It's like been a minute since I've been on camera. I don't know if I'm centered. I don't know if this is how I usually do the lighting. There is someone vacuuming in the hallways right now. Totally fine. We're dealing with it. It's Thursday. Week's almost over. I'm drained. This has been an exhausting week emotionally. But like slowly pulling myself together. I feel like every time I come on camera now, it's like my life is falling apart. <laughs> Not the only reason I do videos. You guys know I used to do videos but to be lighthearted and like share the fun things about my life. But and now I'm straight into just like strictly life updates and that's totally fine by me. I still love making videos. It's been like probably 16 years since my last video. Realistically, a little over four months and I have updates. One of them being I'm moving. Yes, I have love, love, loved my time in this apartment. This apartment has been so good to me. You guys know how much I fell in love with this place over the last year and a half, two years. And it'll always be like my first kind of independent living situation. Maybe only. You guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a boyfriend now. <laughs> Snaps, claps, confetti, give it to me all. I am so head over heels so excited just you know to see the future and what's gonna happen um but one thing happening in the future is me moving in with him so i'm saying goodbye to this place which really is exciting for you guys because now i get to tell you all the like nitty gritty details expose my address tell you how much i pay for rent all of the juicy stuff that everyone wanted to know from my apartment tour or like moving into this apartment video um i have all the answers for you today because I need a sublet <laughs> so I'm gonna give you all the details hopefully one of you can contact me and we can talk and you know take a tour if that is something you are interested in I know a lot of people DM'd me as soon as I put up the apartment tour video asking where this place was how much was it how can I live here all of the above and I will give you all of that information today right now so let's get into it you guys know over two years now, I think it was maybe three years ago, it was the fall of 2017, I posted a video, um, what, I don't even remember the title of it, it was ugh, the grand opening of 777 South State, I don't remember the exact title, but I ended up actually moving into that apartment the following year, so that's where I've been living, 777 South State in Chicago, 2 East 8th Street, I'm exposing my address because Y'all, I don't live here anymore, so you can come stalk me if you can find me. I come in and out very briefly these days just to kind of like pick up things, move them, um, say hi to my apartment once in a while, and go to school. You guys know I, I go to school at Roosevelt, which is why I moved into this apartment. It's about a five minute walk uh, north of this apartment, so the location was so super convenient, and it's been perfect especially in Chicago because y'all know it gets to be like negative 8 million degrees so I wanted a place super close to school because the one thing that absolutely killed me freshman year was my commute not cute at all in the slightest very happy I don't have to deal with that anymore I'm now up on the north side so it is a little bit of a commute but it's like one bus ride away and I rarely have to step out foot out foot outside rarely have to step foot outside so this has just really worked out for me it's been perfect super happy with where I'm moving and super happy with who I'm moving in with oh, y'all know like I'm like I've been so mushy-gushy about this boy towards pretty much every single person in my life and I'm so sure that everyone is sick of me talking about him but I don't really give a fuck because a bitch is in love a bitch is in love that's something I literally thought I would never say you guys know how frustrated I was with dating and boys and romance my entire fucking life before I had met Richard I even told him this I was so ready to fucking throw in the towel like I had pretty much given up on the dating scene accepted a single life forever was the only card that was in my favor um turns out you know I found a diamond in the rough and I fully believe that's out there for everybody so keep your fingers crossed have hope be patient that's all I can say about that I'm super happy with the way things worked out could not be more perfect um, so yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm super giddy, I'm smiley, I'm like actually happy for once. I'm not like coming online to rant and like ugh, sigh and talk shit about my entire life. No, only good things today, kind of. It's like I said, it's been a rough week, it's been like very emotionally draining um, for many different reasons, but all reasons that are just like so left field, so they're obviously all temporary situations 
and I'm ready to just get past all of that. We're going into a weekend, which is always fun, always the best, and that is what I am focusing on. So let's talk about the apartment. I obviously went to the grand opening of this apartment three years ago. This building actually used to be student housing for Columbia, I want to say, or maybe all of the schools around the vicinity. I don't know. We have, um, what do we have around here? Robert Morris, Columbia, Roosevelt, obviously. Art Institute, maybe. I'm not sure how close it is. The school, I, I don't know if classes are actually taught in the Art Institute. I don't know where the campus for that school is, but this apartment is just prime location if you're a student, so it, it worked out. So if you are a student, I'm subletting from April to August, so you have like a six month window to get a feel of the place and if you're taking summer classes it's even more perfect or if you have a summer internship this place will be perfect for you it's really really great to sublet only because it's not such a big time commitment you can do it for such a short amount of time and like get the feel of it um, that being said this one will be let's see April May June July August so five months five months it's kind of a really great window to get a feel of the area so if that's something you're interested in contact me i think the best place to contact is maybe instagram you can always dm me on instagram or i have my email linked on my youtube page in the about tab so contact me i will get back to you asap i'm trying to get a sublet in like a month um which really shouldn't be a big deal the only reason I am posting this video right now is because I signed the papers two days ago and sublets sweep up these apartments like nobody's business. So hopefully before the apartment contacts me, I can get one of you in there because it'll just be like more special. We'll have a little connection. Um, maybe become friends. <laughs> so fun. Expanding circles. No. <laughs> you guys know, like I don't expand my circles ever. Wow, I probably should have started the video down here. I think my camera's a little crooked. Bear with me, it's been a while, obviously, since I made a video. We've mentioned this. I am backtracking, like I do. Let's just dive right into what everyone is curious about, how much it actually costs to live out here. This apartment is technically a studio. It falls under a studio, which I find so interesting because there's a wall divider and a pretty big living space. And compared to the one bedrooms in this apartment complex, this is not much smaller. So in my opinion, the studio was just kind of the best bang for my buck and that is 1640 or 1650 a month one of the two it's actually on the website if you visit 777 south state website um in the tab there's a subleasing availability option and you can see 2708 that is my apartment don't come for me i'm not out of here yet but i'm not here enough to the point where i would be like nervous of someone like coming to knock on my door. I'm on the 27th floor. It's beautiful. The view is magnificent and it's pretty much all I could have asked for. I have died living here looking out the window every single day. You guys saw the apartment tour. It's gorgeous. Yes, it's pretty pricey if you're a student, but if you have the means, I would absolutely sweep this up in a heartbeat. Even like get a roommate, do whatever you have to do. Um, I was fortunate enough to live here alone, which I still like die over every single day. I don't know how I got so lucky. Thank you to my parents. I could not have done this without them. Um, but yeah, $1,640, $1,650 a month. Utilities usually are like one to two hundred. They always vary because my Xfinity fucking subscription fucks with me every single fucking day. So that is the one bill that I just literally despise getting every month because it's a piece of shit. Because A, I have never fucking gotten the TV to work, and B, I have a USB-C like connection to my laptop anyway is that the right terminology i like, don't even know um whenever i watch stuff on the tv i connect it to my computer so i had never used the tv ever i just like pay for wi-fi which is so beyond me so you guys obviously know the full layout of my apartment from the apartment tour um the amenities here are pretty incredible there's an entire fifth floor where there's laundry room and art room gym heated pool uh, lounge area and a little rooftop like grilling deck which is really cute so it has pretty much everything you could ask for besides like you know a target I think a target here would be like really really great um but you have to go up to state street if you want to go to target I also realize this sounds like such an advertisement which it kind of is but it is also a life update if you think about it like I'm moving this is a big 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 change for me I have never lived with anyone other than my family except for those cute two months in Roosevelt where I was in the dorms literally losing my mind you guys saw those vlogs it was not cute um but i'm finally like moving in with someone which is a big change 
cohabitation has proven to be surprisingly great to me. I vouched for the fact that I never thought I could live with someone because I'm just such a particular kind of person who like needs their private space because I'm crazy. <laughs> the things I do in this apartment alone, it's like I never thought I could do that with someone else, but I found that person, thank God, and they tolerate me, so <laughs> it works out. Um, one other quick plug that I'm just gonna mention before I just talk a little more about my life and then let you guys go, and then hopefully like get back to making videos. I fucking miss YouTube, it's been forever. Um, Coachella. I have two Coachella tickets for anybody who wants to sweep them up. Obviously you have to pay, but that's another thing you can contact me about. Weekend one passes with a shuttle. Um, I don't have all the details, they are not my tickets. I'm trying to sell them for a friend, a boyfriend. It is my boyfriend's tickets, obviously. Um, but that's how you know it's coming from like a reliable source. So it's through me, through him, everything would be cool. If Coachella is something you've always wanted to fucking do, um, hit me up. I got you. That is it for the marketing in this video, I promise you. Thank you for listening to that. Um, I appreciate you. Anyway, what's more about my life I can quick update you guys on? I had the most amazing Valentine's Day. I really want to introduce you guys to Richard, my boyfriend. Have I mentioned his name yet? I think maybe once. Um, hopefully we'll do a video together soon. I don't know. I don't know what the cards hold for us. Hopefully we'll get to do a video one day. I think that would be so adorable if you guys got to meet him and just like get a little glimpse of where I've been, who I've been with, what I've been up to. Um, this year has been like wild, but also smooth sailing. I really can't describe it. The semester in school has been going really, really well. Exams are kicking my ass now, of course. That's a given. It's my life. But school itself, assignments, professors, everything is like smooth ass sailing, which is so, so, so relieving because my last years, my, like my entire academic career has been a struggle. I always make it work. You guys know I push through everything, but this semester I can finally like take a breath, it feels like. So that's been really, really great. But besides that, I don't even fucking know what else to share. I think in May I'm going to Vegas. If anyone's going to EDC, hit me up. We can go say hi to each other. All that fun stuff. It, it's like set in stone, but it's not. I'm like, it's in, it's in a weird stage right now. It's like, it's happening, but there's also a very small chance that something could happen that would stop that from happening. But we'll see. I don't really fucking know. It's all chaotic in my head and I'm like truthfully not totally in charge of anything that's happening with that. I have so many plans lined up but it's just all so scatterbrained right now. But it's all very exciting and it's not stressful. Like that's one thing, I, I sound probably so scatterbrained and just like, I have a lot going on in my head right now but everything is organized and it's own little files up here. So it's fine, I'm fine. Don't you worry about me, I got my life together. Sort of. Do I ever? I should take that back. I don't, mm -mm. I don't really know what's happening with my channel, obviously. I make videos once in a while. I think that is just what it is now until I get some spark of motivation or inspiration. I don't really know totally what to do with my channel right now. It's just kind of a ghost channel, which I understand, but if you see me pop up in your feed once in a while, be sure to, you know, click and say hi because I do miss interacting with all of you and engaging because that is, it's, it's a feeling you cannot get anywhere else. YouTube, I say, has always been such a special place just to express yourself and be who you are and meet a ton of amazing people, which I have, as you all know. I mean, I show you almost everybody I meet through the platform, and it's been just so great. So, you know, I think it's always something that'll be in the back of my head, and like I said, I'll throw up videos once in a while, but as for now, I don't have a plan, which is fine. That's what I, 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 I have planned too much in my head in the past, and it just stresses me out when things don't go my way. So I'm just kind of like going with the flow. That's all. I think I'm gonna cut it there. I just wanted to like update you guys, let you know I'm subletting this apartment if you guys are interested. And Coachella, obviously, if you want a ticket, if you can't find someone who has them, I got you. And I guess that's it. How many times have I said I guess that's it? Two, three, too many. One too many. <laughs> That's all, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry I've been so MIA, but I hope you all are doing super, super well. Hopefully you'll see a video again soon, maybe with my boyfriend. I don't know. Sound off if you want to see a video with him. And if you do, 
what kind of video would that be? Do you want me to like beat his face? Do you want me to um, do a boyfriend tag? Do you want to like make it so old school? Whatever you want, I'll make it happen. You guys know. And until that happens, you guys have a good rest of your day wherever you are. And I will have a good rest of mine. <laughs> Bye, guys.